Yeah, hello students. You can see the list of the properties, properties of the definite integration. And I will take them one by one for you. So as you can see the list of the properties here, the very first property says a to b fx dx is a to c fx dx plus c to b fx dx. But remember that c should be the open interval or we call it the interior point of a and b. So if there is a need, then one could break that to limit in between. Or you can see that uh, in mod functions and in many other questions in definite integration, we need this property. So there is a provision that we can break the limit in between and we can take the question to a to c fx dx plus c to b fx dx. The second on the list is the property where they are showing that lower limit is more than the upper limit. The value of the lower limit is more than the value of the upper limit. So what you can do, you can simply put a negative sign and you can change the interval and that is minus a to b fx dx. So b to a fx dx can also be taken as minus a to b fx dx. The third in the list is a to b fx dx is a to b fy dy. The property says that variable is irrespective of the value. So whatever the value will be, it has nothing to do with the variable. That is the integration of say 0 to pi by 2 sin x dx will be the integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin y dy. So you can change the variable simply by putting this property and do not forget to change the respect also. The next property in the list is a to b fx dx is equal to a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. And you will be surprised that this holds true for, for any continuous function in the given domain. That you can sum up the limits and you can subtract x from it. That's why it is a to b fx dx and that can be put as a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. Next property, one could, one could figure it out that next property is, is actually from the fourth property. It is 0 to a f x dx as if the lower limit which was a initially has turned to 0 and b has taken a. So it is 0 to a f x dx which can be put as 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Next in the list is minus a to a and that goes with even and odd function. The property says that whenever the limit is minus a to a fx, you could check for even and odd and then you can frame the limit as twice 0 to a fx dx when it is an even function that is f of minus x is fx and the answer would be 0 if it is an odd function that is f of minus x is minus fx. The next in the list is 0 to 2a. 0 to 2a fx dx can be put into twice of 0 to a fx dx whenever f of 2a minus x is fx and when f of 2a minus x is minus fx the output is 0. The last property is 0 to 2a fx dx and that can be put as 0 to a fx dx plus 0 to a f of 2a minus x dx. And all these properties hold true for continuous functions in the given domain.